as I was getting ready to come over here and, and be part of this conference with you. Um, I will tell you that I'm very disappointed as one uh, with the delegation who worked to make sure that the intent within the CARES Act was very clear, very clear, that Alaska Native corporations would be considered uh, as, as tribal governments for purposes of, of the CARES Act. What we're talking about uh, with, with, the, with the distributions within CARES is to ensure that those, those costs that have been incurred directly to deal with the, the, the COVID pandemic, that those are eligible for reimbursement. So this is not this is not a fight over 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 tribal sovereignty. This is not this is not an issue of, of governance. This is an issue of making sure that those costs that have been incurred on the on the benefit and for the behalf of Alaska Natives to to cover those related costs to to, to the coronavirus can be reimbursed. So I'm, I'm disappointed with, with what I have heard. Uh, I'm clearly looking forward to reading that opinion, um, but I'm very, very disappointed at, uh, at the news this evening. And Aaron, I would just add, you know, one of the things that we've been trying to do, again, working closely with the governor and his team, is get as many resources to our state, as many channels uh, as possible to cushion the flow of this pandemic, whether it's, you know, hospitals directly to our states, the small businesses, the individuals, to our fishermen, and, um, and to tribes. Senator Murkowski and I worked hard on that uh, tribal set-aside fund, which, by the way, I think one of the things that was missed about that was a very large investment, probably one of the biggest investments ever in the U.S. history to our tribal governments. And unfortunately, uh, there became this litigation um, almost immediately. But as Senator Murkowski mentioned, the uh, Indian Self-Determination Act, which we uh, worked to make sure was the definition of tribes, which by the way, is not a controversial definition. It's a 40 year old plus definition of who and what constitutes tribes in America. And it includes Alaska Native Regional and Village Corporation. It's not controversial. Uh, I, I read some of the briefs by our Alaska Native Corporations as they were uh, filing amicus briefs in this case. They look very strong to me. So again, I haven't read the uh, district court's ruling, but uh, I can't imagine a judge would rule that somehow ANCs are not considered tribes when the plain language of the law in the CARES Act says that they are. So it's one ruling, uh, but it's unfortunate as we are trying to get resources to uh, Alaska Natives and lower 48 uh, Indian uh, populations that this is happening. It's gonna delay, gonna delay the uh, uh, resources out the door. And you know, there's been so much focus on ANCs. I think just the word corporation kind of triggers a lot of people, but they're much more than corporations. If you look at the ANCSA, the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act, these are, uh, or, these are organizations that have uh, cultural, economic, social missions as mandated by Congress. This uh, definition was mandated by Congress, and I hope the district court gives as much attention to the ANCs as it does to some of the lower 48 tribes who brought this lawsuits, the lawsuits that um, you know have billion dollar casino operations that nobody seems to be paying much attention to. So we'll monitor this closely, but it's uh, unfortunate if a judge is getting involved in a case with which um, the, the definitions are clear as they can be on who constitutes tribes under the CARES Act, uh, ANC regional uh, village corporations do. And if this delays getting needed resources out to uh, some of our uh, most remote communities, that's gonna be a shame. Thanks, Senators. And there was a Thank question, for, question for me, I think. 